I have been so excited to start playing with this team. This is Pack Attack, and I'm going to show you. I've, I made the lineup of the team that I got in the 10-pack bundle that I opened in the last episode. I put the team together, and I'm pleasantly surprised with how it turned out. I, I was sure that I was going to have to use a lot of commons. Not, maybe not a lot, but a decent amount of commons. And I only ended up with, I only ended up with one common in my whole team. So first here was our 10-pack topper in Kyle Hendricks. He'll be our ace. He will be the one that I hope to get every game. He's a really good silver, in my opinion. I know I say that before. Then we've got Lance Lynn and Michael Waka. Used to be both on the Cardinals. Waka still is. And then the lefties, Patrick Corbin and Brent Suter. Our lineup, we're going to go with the 91 overall, Jose Altuve that I'm still beaming that I pulled in the last video. We got Ian Happ in the two hole. I've been doing really good with him in events. I've been using him on events and uh, he's got a lot of pop on this game. I'm going to have Matt Kemp batting third, Mike Zanino fourth, Marwin Gonzalez fifth, Cameron Mabin sixth, flashback rookie Giambi seventh, and some guy I've never heard of but he actually has decent stuff Jeffrey Marte at first base. And I actually kind of lucked out. Today is MLB opening day. I don't know when you'll be watching this, but today I'm recording. It's opening day. And a lot of my guys in this starting lineup, except for Zanino, are all going up. On the bench, I've got Francisco Cervelli and Steven Vogt. I've got Marcus Simeon. I've got Jorge Soler, and then the the lone common Pedro Florimon, and I, I only put him on the team because he has pretty good speed. I think it's an 81, so he'll be a guy that I can pinch run with. And then the bullpen, bullpen's not looking too good. We got all righties, all bronzes, uh, even these two that are currently commons because they're inside edge. They are normally bronzes. I'm probably going to stay away from them to this game, but uh, our bullpen's kind of lacking. So um, I'm not going to talk anymore. We're just going to get right into the first game and hope I earn some packs to improve this team. Now this is my very first game of ranked seasons this year, and you can kind of see that reflected in my opponent as he actually has a worse team than me. We did get Hendricks, our ace, pitching this game, so that's good. I should be able to beat this team. I don't want to make assumptions. This guy could be good, but all low bronzes, I should be good. I am so pumped to start this. Altuve started off right. Altuve singling up the middle. It was weak, but that's what we need him. He's contact. Over 100 in both contact ratings. I'm taking off with Tuve. Ah, that's a strike. It's lagging. He's in there, though. That's a stolen base for Jose Altuve. Now, we we did want to face a lefty this game. All my guys that are going up are pretty much all going up against lefties, and Matt Kemp rips one out to center. That one's not going to get down. I was hoping it would make the gap, but uh, it will move Altuve to third with two outs. Hopefully Zanino can uh, get a ball down here. Oh, and Zanino drives one. That's a no doubt home run, Mike Zanino. The first home run of this draft, and that's a long one. That's not a draft. That's not a draft. My bad. Of pack attack. And that's a long 459 feet. And now Marwin's lining one out to left field. The gap. He's going to get a double out of that one. Maybe a triple. I'm going to stay two. I might have been able to get to third, but I don't want to chance it. That's our uh, that's our third hit. We only need eight to get a pack. He threw a good pitch. Is that one going to squeak through? No, that'll be the third out of the inning. But we struck with a two-run homer from Mike Zanino. Let's try it with this sinker high. This is the cheese pitch. Breaking back in the zone. He was on that. Let's hope that stays in the yard. That's carrying. No, that'll stay in the yard. Kemp gets it. I got to be careful with those high fastballs. This guy is on it. 
Oh, he was waving on that one. Let's sit him down. Sit down. Giambi isn't the best against lefties. Hopefully I can get a good pitch to hit, and I did. That's going to be a shot right back up the middle. Jason Giambi. Ah, that was a bad decision to swing with Altuve. Oh, he's safe, though. I lagged there. I was sure he was going to be out, but Altuve beating that one out, using his wheels. And I popped up again with Hap. I probably shouldn't have swung first pitch in that. It looked like a hanging slider, but it broke a little bit inside. That's going to do it for our half of the second. Is that one going to scoot through? That one will scoot through for Mabin. Didn't his last at bat, but he's going to get things started here in the top of the fourth? Jeffrey Marte up again. He gave the ball a good ride in his last at bat. And we got a hanging curve, and I just just missed it yet again. I'm going to try and take third here. I might have left early. I might have left early. And it looks like I didn't. We're going to get into there to third. But now Hendricks is tasked with driving him in. And I don't know why I'm swinging first pitch, but uh, doesn't drive him in. And there's another K for Hendricks. I know we need 10 total as a team to get a pack. I'm not quite sure what we're at right now, but looking like we're on the way there. And that one's going to hit the pitcher. I, I think that was a nice play. I don't know if that was really unlucky. He, he knocked it down with his glove, threw it to first. So I checked, and Hendricks is at five strikeouts, so we're halfway to that pack. He did not swing there. <laughs> this game is flying by, I think. Ah, neither of us have discipline this game. We're just both swinging away. I'm only, I'm looking at how long I've been recording for. I've only been recording for 20 minutes. And we're already in the sixth inning. Marwin, oh, he dove for it. Big mistake. That's going to be at least three bases, if not an inside the parker. Get on your horse, Marwin. I'm going home. He's not even trying. He's not even picking it up. That is an inside the park home run for Marwin Gonzalez. That's two dingers. That counts as a homer. And what a play at third from Giambi. What a play by Giambi. Not known for his fielding, but getting it done there. And there's another K. We only need two more. Jeffrey Marte. That one's going to get through. He had a little bit of a, a snafu with his shortstop out there. Ian Happ getting that one in the hole between third and second. And Kemp will pop it up. Sick. And yet another Hendricks strikeout. I think that's nine. Nine Ks. Ooh, that was a rocket from Zunino. I want to see what the exit velocity was. 105, wow. Oh, and Marwin's getting into one. Is that one getting out? That one is out. That was a pop-up home run. That is a home run for Marwin Gonzalez, our third of the game. And we get a pack for that. One more run and we get another pack. <laughs> Chisenhall missed that one. The classic MLB The Show animations, and Mabin will pull into third. If he can make it home, that's another pack. And Giambi sneaking that one by the third baseman. That will be our fifth run of the game, netting us yet another pack. 
And there's our 10th strikeout from Hendricks. That'll be another pack. Don't slide into first, you guys. He might have been safe if he didn't do that. You slow yourself down when you slide into first. Don't do it. El Tuve's got a massive PCI. Oh, my God. I don't even have to touch my left analog stick, and he could probably dot up the ball. Oh, but he's bringing in a new guy in the ninth inning. El Tuve, can he sneak that one by? He can. El Tuve gets a three-hit game in his debut for Pack Attack. Well, his actually, his debut online altogether. Oh, you can always use more insurance. I'm sending him. Oh, and he missed it. He missed I don't think he would have gotten him anyway, but I'm not going to go. I'm not going to run up the score on something like that. There's a Nino flying one. I am going to send him home. Yeah, he had no, no hop on that one. No crow hop. Didn't get behind that ball. And that will cost him as we plate another run. And another fly out to end this inning. Cameron Mabin. And we're going to try and complete this shutout for Kyle Hendricks in the bottom of the ninth. You guys see this. I'm giving him a chance to take out his pitcher, but he doesn't want to. And he'll ground it to second. One more out for Hendricks, and he completes this shutout. And I popped him up. If Marwin can get there, that'll be the game, and that'll do it. Kyle Hendricks with the complete game shutout. Dominant performance on the mound. I won the game 7 to nothing. Now let's see how many packs I got. We were so close to pitching a no-hitter in that game. I, I didn't realize he only had one hit, but if he wouldn't have gotten that one hit, that would have been an extra 5,000 stubs or 5 packs to add to our total. But he just had to go and get the one hit. I do think, before I start here, I do think from here on out I'm going to add in um, a complete game shutout for probably 2,000 stubs. I just feel like uh, that wasn't something I thought of, and I feel like that's an accomplishment that I didn't really take into consideration. It's an accomplishment that deserves to be rewarded. So from here on out, mark it down. Complete game shutout with the starting pitcher is going to be 2,000 stubs. Other than that, we did get a win, so that's going to be 1,000. He did not rage quit. He he played this one through. I'll give him props for that. We did score five runs, so that's going to be a 1,000 stubs. We got eight hits. Well, we got 13 hits, but more than eight hits, so that's going to bring our total up to 3,000 stubs. We hit three homers. Gonzalez hit two, one of them inside the park. So we did hit three homers. That's going to be another 1,000. We gave up. It's no runs, so that's less than two, so that's going to be a 1,000 stubs. We gave up only one hit, so that's less than five, so that's going to be another 1,000 stubs. We had 10 strikeouts with Hendricks. Yes, we did, 10 strikeouts with Hendricks. That's going to be a 1,000 stubs. And I don't think we had anyone hit for the cycle. Yeah, we didn't have any triples. How close was Gonzalez, though? Gonzalez had a three-hit game, two homers, a double. Okay, so he still needed a single and triple. We did get a lot of stubs in that one. i got to count up here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven thousand subs. So we're probably going to open up seven standard packs in a second right here. All right, so we are here with seven standard packs. That I will be opening these at the end of every episode. So you're going to want to stay tuned after the game to see who I get to upgrade the team. And right away I see we got Johnny Cueto and Joe Ross. They're both probably going to make the rotation. Maybe even Joe Musgrove, maybe. But yeah, Cueto and Ross are going to bump off, uh, I think, Brent Suter 
and Patrick Corbin probably. Yeah. So they're gonna they're gonna get bumped off. I'm gonna have an all righty starting rotation. And we got another silver here. Will Harris, finally someone good in the bullpen. It is another righty, but I'll take it. A silver in the bullpen. We start out with two good packs here. Two good upgrades. But we will not continue. Yeah, it's Manny Tomas. I might put him on the bench. I'm pretty sure he's good against lefties. Who knows? And... Nothing in that one. I don't think, unless maybe I put Kipnis in. We'll see. Gold Andrew Miller bobblehead. That's kind of cool. And we got another silver Sonny Gray. He'll be making the rotation. I don't know who he's going to bump out. But now we got three silvers in that starting rotation. And nothing in this one. Maybe Matuk might make the team. Don't know about that one, though. Last pack here. Final upgrades to the team. Can we get someone good? Can we get a gold or diamond? No, we can't. We pull a Ben Zobris. I thought that was Ian Happ at first. I would have been happier with Happ. But that's going to do it for this pack opening. This game, this first gameplay of pack attacks. I really hope you enjoy because... I'm really excited to be playing this throughout the year. This was so much fun. I loved setting the goal of certain achievements to get throughout the game and then getting rewarded with some actually some decent upgrades there on the team. We're going to have a, a solid starting rotation starting next game. But uh, you guys are going to have to subscribe if you want to see the next game. So uh, make sure you do that. Make sure you subscribe. Um, make sure you leave a like on the video if you did enjoy I think I think we're going to go with a goal for this one. I think next episode I'll post it once this one hits 5 million likes. So if, if we can hit 5 million likes on this video, I'll post the next video of Pack Attacks. But in the meantime, that's going to do it for me in this episode. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you go back and watch the first episode to see who I pulled. But I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.